Ah, good day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. Recently, I got given this knife sharpening system. And although I do sharpen things all the time and know, and know a bit about how to sharpen things, I've never actually come across this before. The old owner just said it was too involved and too much trouble. And so he knew that I love sharpening things and he gave it to me. I have no idea how to work it, but I do have a lot of things to sharpen, so I'm going to give it a go. First thing I'm going to do is go in and have a look at YouTube and work out how it works. And then we'll see if it's any good. On the other side of it, just here, it says it's a Tormek T7. So I'll go and look that up on YouTube and see what I can find out. These are all the bits and pieces that came with this sharpening system. And I don't really know what they do. One thing I do know is that this is to hold water for the stone to run in. I know that. This says it's a little diamond. I guess that's to dress the wheel. Don't know what this does. Or this. This could even be for putting drills in. I don't know. Ah, oh, this is says trailing and dressing tool. So I guess that's to dress the wheel. This thing, I don't know. I think it's to clamp knives or something. Again, some sort of a clamp for knives or something. I don't know. This I do know what it is. It's got leather on it and it's for finely stropping the knives or whatever you're sharpening to make them super sharp. I've been in and had a look at YouTube and I don't think I'm an expert by any means but I know a bit more now than I did. And the first thing I'm going to have a go at is sharpening this mongrel knife that I've got. It's a good quality brand knife but I just don't like it. I've got the little tray on for the water and we'll put some water in it up to the level of the stone. Oh well that's handy. Well where's my first issue? Um, maybe it goes up higher. Ah! Now it's better after I spilled bloody water everywhere. That seems better. Sort of didn't tell you about the water thing in YouTube. I think they figured you'd be smart enough to figure that out. This is a knife that I've got and it is a Victrinox, but unfortunately I've never liked it. The reason I don't like it is because it's a straight boning knife. It hasn't got any curve in it and it just doesn't appeal to me. We'll try it on this bit of paper and you can see it just rips it, it's not sharp. I have used water stones before and whenever you first use them the stone will keep soaking up the water for a while and you've got to keep adding water until that stops happening. So the knife fits in the jig like so and you set the angle which I did set it And looking at that, it's got too much angle. That looks better. You can actually feel when it's flat on the wheel. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually ground quite a bit already. Do a little bit on this side. I'm actually finding this side a bit difficult because I'm trying to get a good angle to film it's just making it a little bit difficult. Holy mother of mackerels. You can probably see here now I've got an edge on that side and I've got an edge on that side. That's unreal. What they suggest you do next is get this dressing block and dress your stone down really fine for the final grinding stage. What this does is smooths the stone off for the final grinding 
by making it equal to about a thousand grit. Yeah, that feels a lot finer. You can see on the dressing stone that there's some of the wheel on here and it's actually hollowed out the dressing stone a bit. Water again. You can actually feel that the stone feels a lot finer now. I don't know whether you can pick it up. It's a lot smoother grind on this side than it is on this side. I don't know whether the camera will pick that up though. That is really spectacular. I can't believe how quickly that brought that knife up. Now the final step is to put this hone wheel on with the leather strop and hone it up. Okay. You have to turn the machine around so that be going away from your strop. I could have left this in the holding device but I chose to do it by hand. But what I will do is sit down on eye level and get it right. One thing I don't have is any of the paste you should put on the leather wheel. It's like a grinding paste or a honing paste I should say. Now is it sharp? Is it ever? Okay, I've got our piece of paper back. Oh. Well, the knife sharpening went that well that I thought I might attack this old chisel. I don't even remember where I got it. I've had it laying around for about 30 years and I've never used it because if you have a close look, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just completely all wreck. You can see here the grind sort of, it's got a step in it just here. It's not real good at all. So this will really test it out. The first thing I'm going to do is actually clean the chisel up and get the rust off the chisel and then have a go at restoring it with the Tormek. starting to get better but it's still got rust on it and you can pro might even be able to see that the grind is really buggered up now. The top side of the chisel isn't too bad now but the back looks really rough. So I'm going to give this a bit of a try and Yeah, look, it's sort of reasonable, but it's not real good. Anyway, I'll give it a go. You can start to see it's flattening it out, and you can see here that it's got a little bit of a undergrind that way. Probably from hand sharpening, you can see along here it's not, it hasn't rubbed there yet. You can see it's starting to get there, but over this side it hasn't really... It must be proud on this side by the look of it. Starting to get better, but taking a lot of time. Okay, this is the chisel jig. And I'm going to try and figure out how to use it. Okay. First thing I have to do is set the depth there, then move it over to this side and, and screw this down tight. What this does is it puts it dead square, dead square in the jig. So when you grind it, this is exactly 90 degrees, supposedly. Okay, it's got a little thumb screw in the end here that's to stop it falling off the shaft so this goes on here 
and this is how it works. Put this little screw in the end here and that means you don't come off the that way you won't come off the thing. Now this, obviously I have to set the angle which I'm going to make 30 degrees for this exercise. We have an angle setter here. I've got to set that at 250 because it's a 250 millimeter wheel and I set this at 30 degrees here Now with that set at 250 and this at 30 degrees, when I put it on the machine it will actually show me where I have to be to be 30 degrees. That is way too obtuse at the moment, so I need to lower the chisel down and you can see with the micro adjustment I'm lowering the chisel down. Right, now we're right on the money, do up the screws. This is really easy, whether it works or not I'm not sure, but it is really easy to do. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually grinding this side off more, so obviously this side's proud and not square. Might just make sure that wheel's roughed up. Where it has sharpened it, it feels really sharp and it's got a bit of a wire on the back but it's going to take a fair while this after a lot of grinding you can see that it's grinding it down and it's a lot it is actually starting to get sharp but it's a lot better than it was but you can see over in this corner it's got a long way to go and a bit to go here the angle wasn't, this wasn't 30 degrees and obviously once I get this chisel back correct, it'll be a lot simpler job to touch it up after that. But it is taking quite a lot of work. This is after another hundred strokes. When I say strokes, I mean across the wheel like this. Two, three, eight, nine, ten. I will smooth down the wheel. with the smooth side of this and give it a final hone okay it's like a mirror now and it's sharp it, it'll take pieces off your thumbnail no problem over this side still looks a little bit dodgy but I don't think it's going to matter that will come out with further sharpenings later on alright it's time now to hone it I've made a useful tool out of something that's been laying around for 30 years and it seems to be good steel, nice and square, sharp as hell hell and in fact we should just give it the paper test. Crikey that sharp. Here I've got a bit of hardwood in the vice. Yeah, look really sharp, no problem there. Still sharp after I cut that hardwood. Well, thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.